Current statistics from the CDC state that aside from non-melanoma skin cancer, breast cancer is the most common form of cancer in women and is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Listen to these statistics. Over 186,000 women were diagnosed with breast cancer and 40,954 women died from breast cancer last year in Maribel. It's just devastating. And here today to give us more information about a new test that can help detect if breast cancer has spread to the lymph nodes is Dr. Peter Blumenkranz, medical Director of Breast Health Services from Morton Plant Meads Healthcare. Doctor, good morning and thank you so much for joining us. What should a woman who has been diagnosed with breast cancer know? Well, the first thing that happens when they come in with a new diagnosis is a very frightening, needless to say. Mm -hmm. uh, and they want to know what their chances are, whether this is spread. Unfortunately, we don't have a simple blood test to tell us whether it's spread. So we rely on the pathologist telling us the tumor size and most importantly, whether lymph nodes under the arm called axillary lymph nodes are involved. And so our ability to assess those nodes is most important. Typically, we used to take all those nodes out, but there are side effects from big surgery like that, such as permanent arm swelling, which is undesirable. Mm -hmm. Doctor, the Gene Search Breast mm -hmm. Lymph Node Assay was named one of the top 10 medical mm -hmm. breakthroughs in 2007 by Time Magazine. This is just the chemicals that are used. But how does this test differ from those you've done in the past? Traditionally, uh, most hospital laboratories will do a frozen section on a lymph node. They take each node that's removed, and then they'll take a little slice on a slide, freeze it, and stain it. But they're looking at a very small amount of lymph node, and if they miss the disease, only to come out on the final pathology, which turns up a few days later, it could mean coming back for a second surgery to remove those nodes under the arm to check all of them. With the new assay, we get on a molecular-based test to look at fully 50% of the node and get a result back within 30 to 35 minutes. So, doctor, talk to us about the results of this test. Well, the nice part about the molecular assay, gene search assay, is that it evaluates fully 50% of the node instead of just a slice or two. The way we cut the nodes is to actually slice the node like a loaf of bread, and every other slice is homogenized, put in the blender, so to speak, mm -hmm. and run through this very neat new technology, molecular assay. We still, though, have the alternating slices, so to speak, which are saved and processed with a standard kind of pathology. So actually, the patient gets the benefit of the molecular test in the operating room, but still get the backup in the other 50% of the node, some of which is sampled on so-called permanent section, which comes out two or three days later. How has this technology really helped these women and, and help your practice? The biggest difference is we have very few patients now going back for a second operation. Mm. And the other benefit is if this assay on half the node comes back negative, we can say with a great deal of confidence to the patient, your nodes are truly negative. Which is great. Absolutely. Is there additional information that patients should be aware of? I think it's always important, of course, to see what's appropriate for you from your own healthcare professional. Whether you're a candidate for sentinel node biopsy, if you have it done, is it appropriate for you to have other nodes removed at the same time? And those are individual questions. But I think in terms of the assay itself, like all medical tests, every test out there has false positives and false negatives, mm -hmm. uh, meaning negative would be a situation where the assay or test of, of whatever it is doesn't call the problem and a false positive it says there's a cancer and it's not real and you could have unnecessary surgery. The science behind this is very substantial though to try to minimize those issues. Doctor, how do we find out more information and more importantly if a woman out there is interested, a trained doctor to perform this test? Right. Well the uh, company that produced this, Veridex, has a website uh, and there are two different things you can get from that. One would be a patient information sort of Q&A or booklet answering mm -hmm. commonly asked questions, and the other would be sites where this is clinically available. And the third thing, which I think is always important, is speak to your health care professional. The patient's own oncologist is the best source of information. Mm, good advice. Thank you, doctor, so much. Thanks for being with us this morning on The Balancing Act. And coming up, baby boomers who are taking care of their parents have a new home care option to relieve stress. We'll tell you all about that coming up next.